Greetings, I'm Geo Fatboy. I make shaving videos and sell shaving supplies. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving needs. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. I have a few videos out there about razor blade disposal, different methods of disposing of blades. I show different things that you can make to dispose of your blades. I'm just going to go over real quick. I found one new method that I thought was really cool because I've been thinking about how to do it for a long time and someone else sent me a video of how he did it. So this is actually his idea and I'm going to use it and uh, show, I'm going to steal it from him and show it to you guys. I'm sure he's going to give me permission. I didn't even ask yet, but I'm sure he's okay with it. Right, Sly? You're cool with it, aren't you? It'll be okay if I use your method? All right, thank you. <laughs> okay, so you know the simplest methods, right? Here's your razor blade, put it in the paper that it came in, fold it over, snap it down, click, click, throw it in the garbage. That's one. Another one, if you have a case like this, who doesn't love feather blades, right? There you go. In the back, there's a slot. Just pop your blade right in the back, and there you go. It's gone forever. An additional method would be a razor blade bank like this. It's got a slot in the top, the bottom is removable. Just grab your blade and drop it right in there like so. And you can, if you want, you could open this up later on when it's full and empty it and start all over again. So this one's made by Rockwell. Here is one by Parker, exactly the same. Here is one no name, razor blade on the front, double edged razor blade on the front there. They all have the slot on the top. Those are all tin. This one is made out of plastic. This is by Feather. This will hold a few more blades. It's a little bit bigger. Also, uh, you can disassemble this. I have a video that shows how to do it. I will put links to a couple different videos so you can check them out if you'd like to. Different methods of uh, blade disposal. But this one is the one that I was always thinking about. I had it in my mind and I thought, I'm going to call this the OTC blade disposal method because this is an over-the-counter pill box, right? Or pill bottle, I should say. And I always thought, Dang, I would like to make this thing work, you know, but it's going to be really hard to cut a slot, this cap. It's really hard. But I thought it would be perfect because it's childproof, right? If you wanted to make it super childproof, you would just put some, remove the cap, put some glue on there, screw it down, and, you know, there's the noise. It's childproof, right? So my friend Sly, he's the one that sent me the video. And in life, let's make this philosophical, okay? Sometimes you have to think outside the box, right? Well, in this case, we're going to think outside the bottle. And we're not going to think about the top of the bottle. We're going to think about the bottom of the bottle, which I didn't do. And I'm disappointed in myself that I didn't think of it. So sometimes, like I say, two heads are better than one. It's the truth. So let me show you how to do it. Okay, here's our OTC, over-the-counter pill bottle. If you want to make this permanent, just unscrew the lid, get some super glue or Gorilla Glue, put a little bit on there, and then just screw the cap right back on and let that seal overnight. And then you'll be able to just dispose of this when it's filled up. You won't be able to open it again. But we're just going to leave it like this for now so that I can remove the cap and we can look inside. So let's open up our penetration device which is our knife here and we are going to just cut a slot right in the bottle and I'll put it like this I know you're going to comment on <laughs> me being safe or whatnot but if you want to put it in a vise you can put it in a vise and then safety first put it in the vise and then make your slot but I'm going to do it just like this with my knife First one way, then the other way, and just going to widen it up a little bit by slicing off to the side just a little bit to the left and to the right, just so there's enough room to get a blade in and it won't fall out. I think this is looking pretty good right there. All right, here we go. We got a slot cut in there. Let's see if the blade drops in nicely. Yep, no problem. Let's try another one. And you won't be able to get, you can shake this all day. There's no way you're going to get the blade out. Let's try another one. There you go, nothing to it. 
And let's peek inside. I didn't glue it so we could look inside. You can see there's your blades. If you did want to remove them, there you go. You can get the blades out. But I recommend if you have small children, you want to seal this off permanently so there's no chance they're going to open it up and get inside of it. There you go, piece of cake, nice and easy. OTC pill bottle, blade disposal bank. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that method of razor blade disposal. I think that it's pretty cool because it's free, you know, when you're done with your pills. I don't take Motrin. I, I don't try to take very little pills. I try to take, I take no medicine whatsoever. So uh, I try not to get involved in that stuff. But anyway, uh, this is uh, actually a smaller footprint than this, right? You put this down on your countertop, your sink top. Look which one's smaller. The footprint is smaller for the pill bottle. And I think it will hold at least the same amount of blades, maybe more. And then you could either throw it away. If you glue it shut, you could throw it away when it's filled up. I mean, it would probably take you years to fill this thing up. So anyway, just another method along with all the other ones out there. And I know a lot of you have, you gents, you, ladies and gents, you have many different methods of blade disposal. So leave a message down below. Let's hear your method, what you do. And I'd want to hear that you use a 55 gallon drum because that's not good. It's not practical. It's not going to sit on top of your sink and take up very little room and, you know, look un un unobtrusive. That's the word, right? Unobtrusive on your sink or inconspicuous. So let's hear how you guys do it down below. And uh, that's about it for now. Thank you very much for watching. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. And don't forget, Click that subscribe button, leave a nice comment. I'm out.